everyone. Welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. APC crisis deepens. You depend on talks, violence, to win elections, Governor Obeseki fires at Oshimole. The governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, has accused the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Comrade Adams Oshimole, of relying on talks and violence to win elections. According to him, the former governor never won elections on performance. Obaseki stated this through his special advisor on media and communication strategy, Kruso Osage, in a statement made available to Daily Post on Monday. In a reaction to Oshimole's earlier statement, where he said he didn't teach the governor and his deputy, Philip Schreiber, how to lose elections. The governor urged Oshimole to concentrate on winning elections by the performance of the party and not relying on talks and violence for electoral victories. And the statement said that Oshimole was only trying hard to cover up his inordinate ambition to be the ultimate godfather in Edo State and absorb the willing of the majority of the ordinary people of Edo State. According to him, even his allegory of politics be being like a forest with dangerous animal is a poor excuse to continue to perpetrate toggery and the keep and to keep with the collective patrimony under the control of a few greedy and violent people in the name of winning units and world elections. Good governance remains the surest path towards winning elections, especially when you are committed to free and fair and credible elections devoid of the kind of violence witnessed in recent elections in the country. So instead of trying to pacify the violent and the lawless just because you want to win elections, Oshimale should support the stellar performance being displayed by Governor Godwin Obaseki in Edo State. That way, he will not need the services of his talks to win the next elections. All right, viewers and listeners, um, this is the news story as it is this morning. Um, does it mean that... Um, APC uh, is actually agreeing or justifying the truth or uh, uh, coming to terms with what the majority have actually said, you know, concerning the APC and the way they, the manner at which uh, they've been winning elections. That is to say, the recent election, especially that of um, the, the Bayelsa and Kogi elections, which was seriously mad by violence. Does it mean that this is what the APC, the strategy the APC have actually employed to win elections? Is this the strategy whereby violence is, violence takes or becomes the order of the day, lives and properties are lost? In the last election in Kogi State, we learned that uh, a female leader of the People's Democratic Party was burned to death in her house or somewhere else. How that that, that should be one of the highest level of uh, of of wickedness, you know? Election shouldn't be a do or die affair in this country. We can take a cue from the recent um, concluded election in the UK, where Prime Minister Boris Johnson. One of the Conservative Party won the election. So many Nigerians in the UK or who were in the UK who participated, who voted, who saw the process, testified to how credible the election went, how peaceful it also went. So why is it that in this country, every election is always marred with violence, killings, even 
security agencies are alleged to be part of this process. It shouldn't be so. We are civilized. This is a democracy and we should act civilized also. Look at the statement created to the governor of Edo State accusing the national leader of the APC, the, who, is, who was the former governor of Edo State, that he wins elections via toggery and violence. The question is, what do they stand to gain when people lose their life, when people are uh, engage in violence, what do these leaders stand to gain? Don't they have conscience? Where have their conscience gone to? The electorate needs to wake up to understand and begin to see that these leaders are using them for their own selfish interests. Their children, the children of these leaders are far away abroad. They don't come home, they don't stay home during elections. They use the commoners to perpetrate evil. Then they go. They, they just give them peanuts. The ones that lose their lives are gone and gone forever. This is quite unfortunate. It is so saddening. Look at how long the feud between the uh, national leader of the APC, Adam Sushomole, and the governor of Edo State has lasted. Now they are heading towards another election. What would happen? Who knows the fate of the commoners, the people, the citizens of Edo State? The battle line has been drawn. If nothing is done to resolve this issue, another set of lives might be lost, which is not good for the image of the country, which is not good for the image of both the APC chairman and the APC governor. What could be the issue? What is going on? We just hope that something can be done to this issue and, uh, you know, sane minds will take over the polity so that the issues of losing lives and violence will be a thing of the past in our democracy in this country. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. I don't think there was any record of any loss of life in the UK election. A whole national election or international election as the case may be. But there is no election in this country, Nigeria, that there will not be any record of violence or loss of life. It is so pathetic and appalling. May God have mercy on this country and may God have mercy on our leaders. We pray that they will continue to, that they will not even continue, we pray that God Almighty will fight for the citizens of this country, and put these bad eggs to shame. That is our prayer. I would like to hear from you what your thoughts are, what your comments are. Please drop by the comment section and let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to share this news with as many people as possible, your friends, family members, relations, colleagues, all over the world. And please, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe so that we can uh, continue to bring you educative and informative news from all around the world. Thank you to all our subscribers. We appreciate you and we say God bless you for supporting us as we keep and continue to um, bring you different news from around the world. God bless you. Thank you.